This week's episode of Pittsburgh Dad is brought to you by Iron City Beer. All right, kids, gather on. Dad's got a special Christmas treat for you. You know, something we've done in my family for many, many years, and it's gonna be really something to share with you kids tonight. Now, I can't think of nothing that's more representative of the season than this. The Penny's Christmas Catalog. The 1984 volume, to be exact. No, 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 you never circled what you want in here. Grandma would rip your head off. You could mark up the encyclopedia, the Bible, even her good wallpaper. But don't you dare take a pen to her good pennies catalog. Let's take a look. Look at that, see the cover? You see how happy them kids are? And being on a, on a Christmas catalog cover, that's a big deal. Now that was right up there with, with co-starring in a sitcom with Tony Danza or Paul Reiser. Look here are these girls. Oh no, you, you, you had to wear pajamas that looked like coats back in on Christmas. Cause you know, Santa Claus is from the North Pole and leaving the heat off in the house made him feel more like he was at home. Nowadays they say the North Pole's got the same temperature as Myrtle Beach cause I don't know, I use straws or something. Oh yeah, everybody wore karate pajamas back in 84. Made it so you couldn't tell who actually knew karate, so you had to assume that everybody knew karate. And nobody fought anyone because he's afraid of getting beat up by karate. Ever wonder why there weren't no wars in the 80s? Karate pajamas. Oh yeah, women loved wearing curtains for dresses back in the 80s. Hey, you're, you're, you're running late for a party, you got nothing to wear, grab the drapes down, wrap them around you, boom, you're Joan Collins. Yeah, sleeping bags and tents with characters on them? That was all the rage. But little did we know our parents had ulterior motives when they bought them. There's a sneaky way to get us to live outside weeks at a time. There's toy cash registers. This here's how we ended up with self checkouts because no one works anywhere ever anymore. Oh yeah, a team drum set. That was definitely everybody's favorite part of the A team. You know the part where they'd break out in a hard rock musical number? All anyone ever did was watch the opening credits to the A team. They switched to rare cartoons. And maybe you followed it up with the opening to Airwolf. $30 for a Knight Rider car and figure? He's a weeze for that price nowadays. David Hasselhoff would come to your house and perform every episode in German. Yeah, Transformers. I was told that Santa couldn't afford to build them for me that Christmas because of a World War II metal shortage. So Santa wrapped me up some GoBots in Transformers wrapping paper. Ho ho no. Every kid had a pair of them skates. You know, because skate parties were as frequent as Fridays. The day and the restaurant. I mean, it's Christmas morning, you open up your skates, boom, you're off to a skate party. Who had a skate party on Christmas? Jesus, it's his birthday. Hey, what time is it, Bangles Watch? Well, it definitely ain't time for no Lombardies during your next 35 years. Yeah, yeah, I know them TVs look weird, but back then, you see, things had to have multiple uses, and TVs doubled as butcher's blocks. You cut a nice prime rib on a top air while you're watching MASH. And why the hell is your skiing on every channel? I don't know, it must have been during a Winter Olympics or a Juicy Fruit commercial. Oh, kids, you ain't gonna believe what I found tucked away in here. I ain't. I ain't seen these in years. That brings back so many memories. A book of racks coupons. It expires in 1985. I'll still take them. I'll still take them. <laughs>